Hello world, want to see a rooster destroy a machine? Well, that's exactly what happened when the Helsinki Roosters beat the Stockholm Meme Machine last week. And as an ambassador for football in Finland, I had to be in attendance for the big game. Love, respect, shout out to first and third, baby, coming out here in this cold weather and watching the game for you, boy. <laughs> hey, Lux, so I'm here with Lux, 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 was actually really interesting from both sides in this game because the Helsinki Roosters are kind of a powerhouse in Europe and Stockholm Mean Machine used to be a powerhouse and now they're trying to work their way back to that. So these two teams came to this game with two different things in mind. The Roosters just wanted to get a good warm up before they start their aggressive schedule playing against Vienna Vikings next month. The Mean Machine on the other hand, they're rebuilding something over there in Stockholm. They wanted to see where they stacked up in terms of some of the best teams in Europe. And Helsinki Roosters are right next door, so why not go see the best of the best and see how you match up. The Stockholm Me Machine had nothing to lose in this game. They weren't expected to win the game. They weren't expected to hang with the Roosters. And that's kind of what people saw from the final score because it was 47-19. and Now, that's a blowout by any standard, of course. But the game was a lot closer than that. The game was a lot more nuanced than what the score tells you. Early in the game, both Stockholm and the Roosters couldn't get the ball into the end zone. It seemed like both of them were stalling on the offensive drives. Actually, on the first drive, the Roosters got into scoring position and then fumbled the ball away, which means Stockholm Mean Machine's defense was being aggressive, making plays, and they forced a turnover. Well, Stockholm's offense couldn't get anything going. Both teams couldn't get anything going early in the game, but when the Roosters started scoring, Stockholm had what I like to call a series of unfortunate events. They fumbled a kickoff right after a score, and they fumbled inside their own 20-yard line, and the Roosters capitalized by scoring right away. Well, that's 13 points. That's a 21-point swing because instead of them being able to tie the game, now they're down by two touchdowns. And things like that kept happening in the game. Mean Machine, they were in the game early. And what happened was eventually the Roosters adjusted. Eventually the Roosters took away their run game, forced them to pass. They weren't very good at passing, so they were in the hole and they kept going three and out. The Roosters offense, it came out a little slow, but eventually when Brandon Connett became the guy, when he started making plays with both his legs and his arms, 
they they look just like the Roosters looked the last three or four years. Unstoppable. They were potent. I really like to say the first half of the game told the tale. Second half was just formality. At halftime, it was 27 to 7. At that point, the damage had kind of been done, but Stockholm had a chance to say, hey, we're going to fight this to the end on the opening opening drive. They go three and out. They have a snafu back with their punt. And next thing you know, Rusha Shore again is 33 to 7. That's all she wrote. After that, there's no way they're going to come back against a good Roosters defense, a great Roosters offense. Uh, I think the Roosters themselves showed that they have a lot a lot to prove they want to be one of the best teams in Europe because they did come out a little flat. Their defense was susceptible to the run early, and they adjusted, and they were fortunate that the Stockholm Mean Machines don't have a passing game, so they couldn't be burned by the pass. Even that one pass that Matthew Resloff caught – was just a play that he outplayed the defensive back for the Roosters on that play. It was a one-on-one type thing. Now, if the Roosters go up against teams that can physically play them in those situations like that, they're going to be in trouble. But as long as they're playing a team like the Stockholm Mean Machines, where the Mean Machines have one good receiver, no one else who can make a play, um, Roosters' defensive backfield was solid as usual, so that one receiver was a a non-threat. And their quarterback for the Stockholm Mean Machine had to try to make plays himself. And he's not a dual threat quarterback, so he can't make you feel the run. He's not hard to sack. He's a big target. The Roosters were able to just go after him, which in this game is just not a good matchup for the Stockholm Mean Machines. I still think Stockholm Mean Machines are going to do okay in Sweden Super Series. I think they'll be fine. I think they'll be one of the teams that competes for the playoffs over there for sure. But... If they were trying to see if they're a European powerhouse, they're not. That's just, it is what it is. They're not a European powerhouse. Now, the Helsinki Roosters, on the other hand, they are a European powerhouse. The Helsinki Roosters show that even if they start slow, they can still put up almost 50 points on a team without even trying. They have quality receivers all the way throughout. Their offense is just as potent as ever. Different faces than we're used to seeing, but it's just as potent as ever. And then their defense, I mean, their defense was good, but it wasn't tested. Stockholm didn't give them the test that they really needed, but they did get a chance to adjust and adapt to a different type of playing style because Stockholm came out in that pistol offense. Overall, the game was great. It was a a good first game for the Roosters. I think both teams are going to be okay going forward. I think the Roosters are definitely setting things up to be one of the best teams in Europe this year, and we'll definitely find that out in a couple of weeks when they play against the Vienna Vikings in Austria. That's going to be a game for the ages. Uh, If you've seen any of my online stuff, I'd love to go to the game, but I can't afford it. Uh, But you can always find my GoFundMe. I I I don't know if I'll be able to, but if I can, I'll put a link in this video um, to my GoFundMe page. And you guys can, you know, help Perfect Purpose get there because that would be awesome. Both teams, I wish you the best this season. Uh, The game was fun. I had a great time hanging out with people in Vonta, as you can see from the video. It was just a blast and can't wait to do it again. I'm an ambassador of football, so I go wherever the sport is. The same day that the Roosters took on the Mean Machines, there was a youth tournament happening in the city of Vonta. I had to go check out the kids because Perfect Purpose loved the kids. I'll be posting more videos like this as the football season goes along here in Europe. So if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel now. And don't forget, Purvis knows. <laughs>